Hi guys! Today I'm going to be doing some weeding and cleaning in my Anything Goes succulent garden. Hello there! My name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. So first I got a couple of my afterglow that I need to put over on that side over there so I can complete my five rows of afterglows. There's not that much weed in there, a couple of little small ones that's growing there. And also this area I want to put in my variegated prolifica which is just so gorgeous, so amazing. I have to also find a spot for my subrigida. So my subrigida here and also so I got a couple of swan lake here as well that I want to put in the garden. But the subrigida and the swan lake I would like very much to put over here below this crane but I think it will be better suited to be in that area there where there's a lot of weeds so I need to clean that up. I just noticed that my tomato, look, I already harvested a few from here, but I've got another one hiding in there. Look at that. Got tomato for my salad tonight. And look at them. So many fruit. Oh my goodness. So I got those Sinesho stroke stick as well. Three pots that I bought a few months ago that I forgot to plant. But anyway, I'm going to do all of this now and oh my goodness look at this one isn't that gorgeous what are you I forgot what your name is it's flowering look at the beautiful flower gorgeous okay I'm getting distracted again so I better get cracking so this is the area I want to put my subrigida in and also hopefully a couple more plants now it will all depends how I feel and the time that I have and anyway, I just want to show you this purple delight that I threw off. I mean, threw away. I just sort of planted them. Basically, they were like leaf propagations that I just sort of plonk, literally plonk them in there a few weeks ago. And then now they're growing. Look how big they are. All the little ones. Look at that. I thought it's a variegated one, but it's not. So every single one has grown. Look at them along with the weeds. But anyway, oh, this one. See, this is what I'm saying. This one needs watering. Even though we have rain, still, it's not wet enough. See, so probably need some cultivation like this and weed extraction. Okay, so I've got nodulosa here as well. And, oh my goodness. So I better get cracking. Oh, this is neon breakers. There you go. I was looking for my neon breakers. I can't remember. And then I forgot that I put it here. And also these ones. We might as well remove that. Although the leaves still grow. Doesn't matter. Now. And I can actually put a lot of plants in here. My Violet Queen. I haven't even put on because, I mean, planted it. Because... I'm thinking of putting something else. So every time I think, oh, I need to put this and I want to put that, but then something else catches my attention and thought that maybe this is a better plan. But anyway, I'm going to get cracking. I just got these bushes. It's been leaning here for a long time. And I've been meaning to tie this up. So, hang on, come on. Okay, that's better. Just out of my way now. I've got a lot of this irrigiron or seaside daisy or something like that. I think that's what they're called. And it just goes everywhere. They're beautiful plants. And if you have a garden that low maintenance, you just want to have something there, they're good to put in. Okay. 
first let's go take a look I can only put something a little bit closer here because I still need access later on to go to the top and put some lights on that butterfly and speaking of which I've got another butterfly I have to install as well so anyway better get cracking oh there's a weed inside there that I have to pull up I'm just about to plant in my subregida but before I do that I would like to show you the soil that I'm gonna be planting them in we have a really clay soil or very clay soil here in my garden and i've already put a lot of clay breaker to break down the clay because it was really really clay it's almost like you can make pottery out of it this is the type of soil i get from here so look at that that's very very clay and that's already been mixed up with my garden soil and also compost of course now this has taken about 10 years to sort of break down into what it is now. So basically, the soil I'm planting most of my succulents in, even on the other side of my garden over there, that is all clay soil. So I just put in my fulgens, and when I put it in, of course, the soil that I'm using is my master succulent soil mix. Now, I just scattered the soil in there and also put in some sea mungus as fertilizer, basically. So once a year, I normally throw in dynamic lifter over the whole area of my garden or everywhere in my garden here. But this year, I didn't even get to do that. I was just busy with so many things that I forgot to do that. But anyway, so that one, now the fulgens, the reason why I planted that there, minus four is all it could take. And then after that, it will suffer from the frost. So what I did is plant it. See, the pot is sort of protecting it. And this one as well, this evergreen, this is an evergreen, I forgot what it's called, this tree now. This is sort of serving as a protection when winter comes for that fulgens here to not get killed by the frost and my subrigida which i'm going to be planting in this spot here which is also not frost hardy or not that frost hardy i will be providing some sort of covering for that one when winter comes i can't explain it now but when when winter comes it's almost like a song then i can show you what i'm going to be doing or I'm putting a shade cloth basically that is the reason why for this rack so i can have that pole there so the black pole here and also this pole here which i've got my light in there so that's still gonna change i might put a pot or something there and also i'm putting another one here so it's got a triangular area where i can put my shade cloth during winter so they don't get damaged by the frost too much they will still get damaged a little bit but at least they can survive our winter frost so blue chalk stick just tease the roots a little bit they're not very uh, fussy at all they're quite uh, very hardy so I'll just put the chalk stick in first and that actually contrasts nicely with my fulgens over there. And then now next one here. So again, very, very clay soil. Look at that. I probably should make some pots with them. Anyway. Uh, I'll just tease you a little bit. That's fine. And I'm just gonna throw in some sea mongoose on the top here because I don't know where my sea mongoose is. I don't want to go inside, but that's okay. Because if it gets watered by the rain, they're just gonna dissolve down and it'll be right. Now, last one. Oopsie. Okay. there you go and sort of the soil is more cultivated now i've got perfect spot for my subrigida 
see the clay? <laughs> Look at the clay! The clay! Oh, this. But they seem to like it. So, I wouldn't worry too much about it. So, Gregida, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And where's the other one growing? Growing on the other side, so on this side. Oh, there's another baby in the bottom as well. So, there's three plants. Oh, my goodness. I thought for $18, I think that's a bargain. I got one to another baby there. So, maybe I'll do it this way. Uh, so I can harvest the baby that will correct itself anyway now okay let's go that's it and so so far the foundation plants basically are those so now I need to put in some more I have to go at the back and see what plants I've got so far, I got my blue moon in, yay! And also, I got my Sedevaria blue elf. So I got my cotyledon, Pachypytum compactum, and a couple of white rocks, and also my dusty violet. Tori over here, and so Brigida in the center, Sinicio also managed to put in a couple of Sedevaria Marcus, or also known as uh, Mayalin, and Fulgens. Also, I put my Golden Goddess hiding over there, and hopefully, that's going to be protected from the frost. It's now seven o'clock, so I have to stop because it's getting dark, and so far, <laughs> I'm able to plant my big afterglow over here and the other one is just sitting in the pot there because I need to put in some more soil I just put in some potting mix over there in that pile and the whole potting mix in the bag stank it just stank it stank it stank it stank so stinky that I have to stop and I need to let that breathe so I'm going to have to leave it for a couple of days before I even touch that because it just smelled so bad. It just stinks. It just stinks. So anyway, I still haven't finished this area, but at least I've already put in a lot of plants. So Glotifilum is now nicely secured there because I'm not really too sure about the hardiness of that plant there next to the afterglow. And I got my variegated Prolifica sitting next to my candy, next to my dondo, next to the swan lake, and also Graptiveria ruby blush, I think, or something like that, or pink ruby, or whatever, <laughs> something with a ruby, and more of the variegated Prolifica and Sedum, I've put in a lot, so much plants, and the best one of all is I was able to fill up this pot, which has been sitting there for a long time. That is a Graptiveria rubra, which is just so gorgeous. I love, 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 love the color. But you can see that it's already forming some aerial roots, so I'm going to have to remove that one. Oh, that other one too. Oh, it's from the other side, but it doesn't matter. This is very easy to grow. There's already a couple of leaves down here. Hang on, I can't see it. Down there, that's already growing. So I'm just going to stick it in there and let that take root. So anyway, guys, with this and what's at the front. And so now I'm going to have to cook dinner because I'm hungry. So we're having crabs for tonight. We're having mud crabs. So anyway, guys, that's all for this video. Oh, yes. Also, the rest of my Frank Reynold, the little baby ones that drop from my succulent arrangement bowl is already planted in. So now 
in a few months time we probably won't be able to see any gaps in the soil anymore so there's still a lot to go into this garden and I still have a lot of plants to go into here and I have to really fill up these pots now and also my purple waterfall rain purple rain has to be filled up those two and yes I've already installed my butterfly as well and my cage for uh, succulent cage I'm gonna fill that up with succulent so whatever I put in it is a surprise so that's all for this video guys and thank you so much my stomach is already crumbling and look how look how beautiful that lily is I think it's lily never mind I forgot now what it's called I'm hungry so I better go inside oh Akmeya hello oh look at the bees it's already dark and they're still busy being around look hello bee and this is the reason why I plant flowers in my garden